This is an overview of the 5,000 meter course at Gans Creek Recreational Area in Columbia, Missouri. This is the home course of the University of Missouri Columbia and the site of the Gans Creek Classic Cross Country Meet and the Missouri State High School Cross Country Championships. So we'll take a look at the course as a whole first. And it's a really neat site. The way they put it together, they can run anything from a 2K to a 10K, the way they use the forks and turns. So you'll see we'll do one big loop. That's a 2K loop. And then we head out again. And this time, take our right at the fork, past the 4K, and then we wind our way back into the finish. Uh, a few things about the site, as, we, as long as we've got this overview, uh, there's a, a tent city over here on the left side. It's about the size of a football field, uh, nice and flat, plenty of space to put your tent up, really close to the starting line, which is right here. And that starting line looks down a really long straightaway. You can see this is a picture of the view from the starting line. Um, very wide, a very long, kind of a slight dip to it, but it's overall pretty flat uh, first part of this course. And that's one thing to note, the scale on this, the distance down that straightaway is 500 meters. And a lot of times in a cross country course, we're not used to such a long straightaway on the start and also such a wide course the whole way down. So we'll talk about that in a little bit when we look at each kilometer separately. Uh, a few other features to be aware of. One is at each kilometer mark, there are permanent structures uh, to mark that distance. And on the day of the race, there will be a light board attached to this, which gives information about time and place and team and things like that. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, that can be a little distracting though. So make sure you're focused on your race and not on any of the information that's, that's showing up there on that board. And one other thing sort of generally about the course is uh, it is wide, landscaped, uh, great terrain, uh, really smooth course the whole way. Uh, it's 10 meters wide the entire way. And when you're walking the course, it's going to feel a little, really different than a lot of cross country courses you may have seen before. There's no roots. There's no U-turns around trees or fences or anything like that. It is This is a dedicated cross country course. Um, and it can feel like you're um, kind of going down the middle of a two lane road. It's, it's about as wide as a two lane road is. So um, that can feel a little intimidating, a little different when you're walking the course. Uh, but on the day of the race, you'll be packed in with a lot of other runners. It's going to feel like a cross country meet on a really good course. So now let's take a look kilometer by kilometer. So we start down this long straightaway and the first kilometer ends right here uh, next to this lake. And a couple things to note, I sort of zoom in on this first kilometer, um, because most courses don't have such a long wide straightaway, a lot of times people are starting this race and they're thinking about this curve to the left that's up ahead. Um, and a lot of times we've seen runners who will sort of start to gather up on the left side of the course as they make their way for the first turn. Um, in this course, because that straightaway is so long, it's really not necessary for you to do that. A lot of people still will group up on the left side thinking about that turn. But if you can run the straight from wherever you're starting box to that turn, um, you're better off. You'll stay out of the pack a little bit. You're going to run a little bit shorter distance. So just remember to think about how long that straightaway is and that you don't have to get over to the left as fast as you might in a typical cross-country course. Uh, another part of that thousand over on the right side, that's sort of the, generally along the right side of the course is the lowest side of the park. So it's not a hill by any means, but you'll be in a lower spot as you make that right turn around the far end of this first thousand. Uh, from there, we're gonna head into the second thousand which loops around the middle of the park and ends up back at the starting line. So uh, if they were doing a 2K race at this course, they would just go right into the finish line. So that's one of the races they can do on this course. Uh, but that second thousand brings us through the starting line, and then we head back out and do the first thousand again. And this time when we go through that gate, that's going to be the 3K point. So we're running by this pond again. Uh, and now from here, we're winding our way back to the far end of the course to the 4K mark. And this is another spot. Um, this is not a hilly course, but there are some small dips as we go here through this curve here, and then we're climbing back out of that. And then the very top of the course is a little bit lower too. So you're kind of heading back out of that uphill a little bit as you head to the 4K. Um, this is probably the highest area in the park. So as you come back in, uh, it's flatter downhill as you cruise on into the finish right here. Um, a few places I think it's important to be aware of. Right here, you're about 400 meters from the finish. 
uh, which would mean the 800 mark is somewhere up, uh, somewhere around here on this straightaway. And then the 200 is here. As you as you round that bend, you're just going to come around the corner. It's obviously going to be a lot of people packed in on the sides, but that's where you'll get your glimpse of the finish. And it's straight into the finish from that 200 mark. Here's a look at what you'll see at the finish line. On race day, there'll be a light board up there, um, but there is this permanent structure um, that is the finish line. And then behind that is a shelter with a very big covered area uh, that racers will enter after they go through the finish line. So this is the view you'll have from about 100 meters out. You can see there on the left, uh, the first time through, that's where you'll make that turn back to the outside. So Gans Creek is a wonderful cross-country course, really well designed, really well taken care of. Uh, it's a great place to run fast, but because it's such a, a great cross-country course, it can feel intimidating with, when you're there. But just remember, it's 5,000 meters. Uh, you've trained for this. You're ready for it. Race smart and trust your training.